Hey, thanks for checking this out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove stray hairs in Photoshop using a few very quick and easy tools that also will apply to a number of other Photoshop editing techniques. This is one of the more simple ones, but I think it'll be a good way to teach what the quick mask tool does, as well as clone stamping and some healing. So I've got a portrait here, and as I zoom in, I can see there's quite a bit of stray hairs. Now in this photo, it's not really that distracting, but in other photos, stray hairs can be very distracting, and it's just better to clean them up if you're going for a cleaner, more polished look for a portrait. So we're gonna hit the letter Q to go into our quick mask mode. You may have noticed our layer over here turned red. Next, you need to hit the letter B for brush. Now, uh, let's right click and select the correct brush. Let's use that Photoshop brush that allows you to control the hardness. I'm going to put my hardness around uh, 90, 90%. That means it's going to have a fall off around the edge. And we need to make sure that the color of our brush is black. So go over here to your little squares, click on the top one, make sure it's all the way in the bottom corner of black. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint over her face to create a selection of her head that we want to keep. And then we're going to use clone stamping to get rid of the stray hairs, which would be outside of our selection. So let's click up here and we're going to very carefully trace along basically the shape of her hair. And it's okay to have some stray hairs in there. That's, you know, that's just real life. You don't want to have it like super clean and perfect. So you can include some of those, some of those, uh, you know, fuzzy edges of her hair but you just want to kind of capture the general round shape of her hair. Okay, once you have that selected, you, you, you don't have to, but you can fill in her face just in case. Now, once we're done painting over her face, we're going to hit Q again, and it gets out of quick mask mode, and voila, we have a selection that we literally just used a brush to paint. And the edges of the selection are you know basically equal to that soft edge of our brush. If you have a brush that's very soft on the edges, your selection will also be very soft. That's why I like to use quick mask and the brush tool. With our selection made, let's zoom out. What's selected is actually not her face, it's the outside of her head. So when you paint with red in quick mask mode, it's actually, you're basically erasing the selection. You can zoom in with the zoom tool by pressing the letter Z, clicking and dragging if your scrubby tool is selected up here. Now we're going to press S to get to our clone stamp tool. And if that doesn't work, make sure you've got your clone stamp tool selected. It looks like a stamp. There we go. Now what we need to do is we're going to alt click on a clean area and paint over the bad area, which is the stray hairs. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to alt click right there and then let go of alt. And now just left click and paint. Look at that. It's basically copying from one area and painting onto another. Now I'm going to restart. I'm going to do another area. Alt click right here and then left click there and paint. And it's overlaying these stray hairs, basically getting rid of them. Don't cover up the other guy's face because remember he's not selected. So we could totally ruin his face like that. So alt click up there, paint carefully over these stray hairs. There's a few more over here. If you want to get those, you can just uh, go back to S for stamp. Alt click there, left click down here and paint over them. And there we go, look how easy that was. Now honestly, I think my selection was a little too harsh. Probably should have softened it up a little bit, but I think you get the point. It was, it's very quick and easy. Let's do it with, with one other photo. All right, now this is a very windy and humid day, so her hair is naturally just doing its own thing. Let's press Q for quick mask, B for brush. And I'm gonna make this brush a little bit softer, maybe 70, 70% size it up a little bit and just paint right over her head there we go now the background of this image it's almost unfair it's like a pure white so that makes it really easy to remove stray hairs and this technique doesn't honestly work if you have very busy backgrounds with patterns and perspective and you know things like that that need to be maintained uh, this technique really only works good for portraits with blurry backgrounds with patterns you know ivy tree lines um, solid colored walls things like that so this is not the perfect technique for every situation, but it is a huge time saver for when it works. So we've got our face colored over with red, press Q, we've got our, our inverted selection, and let's press S and sample from over here and paint. There we go, sample from here and paint, sample here and paint, there we go, nice. And maybe get that one, just be careful with the shoulder. If you get too close to the shoulder, it'll start getting sky on her. So there we go, awesome. I really like using the quick mask to make uh, either quick and sloppy selections or very uh, accurate and meticulous selections using the brush tool. I often use it to select an area that I don't want to edit, but that I'm doing editing nearby, and it just basically keeps my area safe while I cut around edges like when we remove these stray hairs. It really is a big time saver.
While I hope you learned some helpful techniques in this video, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or problems using what you learned. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.